Hey, you do Texas Blades here. So we're going to come at you with a new blade today. Uh, it's not new. It's an older blade, but uh, we just got it in the collection about a week ago. Uh, about the same time we picked up the SOG we did a review on. <clears throat> so this is going to be just more of an overview showing the knife. Uh, I haven't uh, got to play with it much yet. It's kind of big to carry, so it's not like I'm going to EDC it or anything. And surprisingly enough, uh, I love it for what it is. As much as I complain and bitch and moan about serrations, it is a full serrated blade. It is the Kershaw Canyon City 2 saber uh, Sabertooth Lockback Knife. It's fully serrated all the way down it. And you know, I just, I don't like serrations. Uh, but for some reason, I love this knife. Really heavy duty, heavy, heavy, heavy knife. Uh, not sure what the exact weight out is on it. It's 440C high carbon stainless steel. Uh, this is model number 1066 ST. Uh, it's four and seven eighth inches, uh, four and seven eighth of an inch closed, and four and one eighth inch blade. Serrated clip point. It's got the finger grooved. Uh, what do they call it? The black task, the black task force rubber poly handle or some crap like that. I forget. When you buy these knives new, it comes with a sheath. I do not have the sheath. Uh, and in fact, they discontinued this knife. I believe. I don't think you could pick it up anymore. Uh, I've looked them up and I found them for, you know, thirty-five dollars for a fairly rough shaped knife, uh, all the way up to about sixty bucks for a. Uh, mint condition when you know brand new in the box new old stock whatever <clears throat> somebody had the knife and just never used it I should have cleaned it up a little bit see there Kershaw Canyon City and it's got the what is that KAI Japan and they're gonna show 1066 ST there you go and you can see it's a little scuffed up. I really need to clean it and polish it, but I wanted to show what the knife looked like you used anyway. It's a heavy, heavy duty knife. I love the handle. Uh, I do wish the jibbing was a little bit more aggressive and came onto the handle about right here. I wish the jimping was from about right here to about right here somewhere. About right here put a little bit on the handle so you could push forward without actually touching the blade. It's not bad though. And serrations, you know, I, I just I always complain about serrated blades. Just the, They're just a pain in the ass to take care of. I prefer just a plain edge all the way down, but I'm going to tell you for a serrated blade, this is a good little knife. Cuts cardboard like nobody's business, and that's that's Actually, what I got it for was to cut up uh, cardboard boxes. I like it so far. Uh, we're going to do a review on it once I use it for a while. I just wanted to come and show it off a little bit. Uh, kind of let you see it. I'm going to clean it up and clean up them rubber handles. They have a couple divots in it. You can see right there. So I'm going to clean up the handle a little bit, clean up the blade. I'll probably take it apart. You can see in there it's all kinds of gunk down in there. It needs to be cleaned out. Clean it up, oil it up. Check the washers and everything. Make sure nothing's burned out on it. It opens really easy, closes really easy. You can hear some grit down in there. know if you can hear that or not but there's some grit down in there definitely needs to be cleaned out I don't know I might just uh, take some of my gun cleaner which which is really just brake cleaner and <laughs> hose it down and see if that works see if that gets some of that gunk out of there there's no play in this blade at all little bit to side to side that's it right there and that's none back and forth none in and out so I always expect a little side play in a blade. I could probably tighten it up, then it wouldn't close and open as easy. And this thing will close on your fingers, by the way. Just press that button and it drops. So you can close it one-handed, although I do not recommend it. Uh, and you can open it one-handed. 
no thumb stud, anything like that. It's not assisted open. It's an old school knife right here. Kershaw Canyon City 2. Cool little blade. If you get a chance, pick one up. I think it's worth it. Um, I don't think I'd pay 60 bucks for it, but I'd definitely pick them up for 30 and 40 all day. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching YouTube.